90 seconds now into the second half. Horford in the post. He's guarded by Love. And the basket by Horford. Horford's got six. They'll take as many of those looks as they can get. The Cavaliers trail by ten. Timeout called the Cavaliers. And during the timeout, both coaches getting a chance here to review the strategy at this point of the game along with the discussions. Also some rehydration going on with Gatorade. Everyone trying to bring their top game here tonight. Yeah, that's why you see the trainers going around to every player making sure they're hydrated. They're getting enough to drink during the game. So important to hydrate yourself and keep yourself strong and, and ready to play for these big minutes down the stretch. Here on the 2K leaderboard are the rebounding leaders from a season ago. Third is Kevin Love. You know, he was actually a monster on the glass. We talked about him throughout the season, and though he didn't lead the league, he was a big factor in a number of important games. Doris Burke has an update for us. Doris? Well, over the break, I listened in on David Blatt's huddle. He said their plan was run their offense through LeBron. Coach said the first thing they should be thinking about is getting the ball in his hands and letting him lead the way on each and every possession. Those could prove to be crucial changes to their strategy with this game getting ready to enter the stretch drive, Kevin. Thanks, Doris. Well, the Cavaliers largely underachieved last season. A big part of that was constantly dealing with distractions the, the entire season. Yeah, it certainly appeared that way. It was always something with players fighting in-house or items getting leaked to the media and causing things to get stirred up. It was very hard when those distractions are circulating for you to be effective. To the left wing. Here's Corver. Cavaliers with the rebound. And still a great start to the half after hitting their first three, even before that hits. There's the pick. James outside. Here's Mozgov. Good, and the assist goes to James. Mozgov's got his second basket of the night. Boy, you gotta love that assist by LeBron. The Hawks leading by eight. T gets to court. He feeds it to Millsap. Irving against T. A pass to court. And there's the defensive three-second call. The Atlanta shooting their first foul shot of the night. Well, you look back at a season ago, this is a club that made 78% of its shots from the free throw line, so very comfortable with that strike. And, you know, that just added to their confidence at the offensive end. I mean, knowing that free throw shooting was something they didn't have to worry about gave them a lot of confidence to play freely. Catching up on the changes for Cleveland. Ferrizhao comes in for Moscow, and Smith subbed in for Amon Shumpert. He has really shot the ball extremely well, as you'd expect. Like we say, he's been making sweet string music all day long. Here's James, and Cleveland again with the bucket. They can't afford to give him that kind of look. Well, it came off a good screen, but still, as a defender, you've got to fight over the top of that. Teague against Irving, out to the wing. And here is Teague. Nine points in the game so far. Stolen by Verizon. And, oh, here we go. Smith's got it. The best break chance. It will go down. And the Hawks lead is cut down now to just seven on the bucket from James. J.R. Smith, just tremendous range on his shot. And a great skill level overall. He can handle, pass, and finish. He can really get up high and, and finish in transition with some explosiveness. Just an electric play. Six to shoot. Here's Carroll. He's guarded by Love, and he converts the layup. Carroll's got his third bucket of the night. They haven't been as aggressive from outside as they were in the first half. They're playing smart with the lead. I like that. They're being very selective and deliberate in their offense. And that's a good strategy when you're on top. Tristan Thompson, he's checked in for Kevin Love. So for the Hawks. Hawks on D. Out to Smith. Let's it go with a three. Rebounded by Sofalosha. And J.R. Smith set a record last season for three-pointers attempted in a game with 22. That's a lot of casting from the three-point line. But that same night, he set the Knicks franchise record for makes with 10 that found the bottom of the net. When he's going, 
He can be a handful. Back to Irving. Kicks it to Smith. Baseline jumper, and he gets it to go. 14 points for LeBron. You know, if you were only looking at the way he's played offensively, I think his team would be ahead. Pass to Baseball. There's the pick. And there's the feed to Zephalosha. Here's Schroeder, just five on the clock. Scott with a screen on Smith. Schroeder gets to Brand. Another three for Atlanta. Heaves it up. No good. The Hawks leading by 10. Fourth quarter on the court for the Hawks. Dennis Schroeder is out there with Kent Bazemore. And it's Tabo Cephalosian. Then it's Elton Brand. And it's Scott in at the four. Brand a screen on jumper. Just five to shoot. Schroeder kicks to Scott. Off target with his three. The Cavaliers shooting well. 50% for the four. Jones outside. Back to Jumper. He dishes it to Smith. Moves back up. And so he draws the foul on the shot. A trip to the line to shoot two. And the defense looking to protect the rim at all costs. Yeah, I like that. A foul to save the rim. Make him earn it at the line. And the Hawks will go for a different look here. Al Horford. He's checked in for Brand. Millsap comes in for Mike Scott. Tamari Carroll's checked in for Cephalosha. And it's Horford in for Kent Bazemore. Carroll passes to Horford. And a rebound goes to the Cavaliers. James has got his third rebound on the night. Smith gets to shot. Back to Smith. Pass to James. Got a lot of momentum going with his own game. He's been great today and just as hot as he was last time out. Just about one and a half minutes gone by here in the fourth. Mills up a screen on LeBron. Here's Carroll. Mozgov grabs the board. Mozgov's got four rebounds now tonight. James with it. Smith outside. Pass to Moscow. Back to Smith. Wide open. And he nails that one right through the net. Boy, the deeper we get into this game, the more offense we're seeing. And that goes to both teams, Steve. Everybody firing on all cylinders right now. Kevin Love's checked in for Cleveland. Kyrie Irving comes in for J.R. Smith. And a switch here also for Atlanta. Tiggs checked in. Let's catch up with Doris from the sideline. I was able to listen in on what Mike Budenholzer had to say to his team. He gave his guys the green light to keep firing from downtown, telling them, listen, I like the work you're doing out there. Keep finding those gaps on the perimeter. They're giving us open shots. The Cavaliers trail by seven. Now the dish to Shumper. Feeds it to Law. Good work defensively by Milson. Terrific defense at the rim. They got right in his path. You know, that's part of what great defenders do. They get not only in your path, but in your head a little bit, too. This is the kill. He wants to get the Millsap and does. A fadeaway. That's good. And now it's a nine-point Atlanta lead. The Cavaliers have gone two of four from the field since we started the final quarter of play. Outside Irving. LeBron drives in, rejected by Milson, and he gets it back, and he recovers it, and the call will be against Al Horford. Tries yet again, and it's finished off by Shumpert as he lays it in. 
They're taking so many shots down there, and, and they're knocking them down. Really good looks in the paint. No doubt the offensive philosophy today. Pound that thing inside. Teague dishes to Horford. Picked by Horford. Carroll kicks to Horford. Millsap left side. Again, the Hawks, good for two. Uh, you got to like his shot selection today. He set a good example for the rest of his teammates. And the Cavaliers call time here. Shumpert passes to James. Cleveland moving the ball around. Teague against Irving. Shumper dishes to James. Shot clock at six. Good. LeBron's got four this quarter. You can't say enough about his individual performance. I don't think you can overstate it. I mean, even if the all-around team has to be lacking, this guy's been on top of them. Teague against Irving. And there's the pass to court. He kicks to Kim. Ball stolen. Passes to James. And the layup is good after a nice loop pass. And now just a five point Hawks lead. Well, those are key baskets. We know who can deliver down the stretch. Millsap is screen on Irving. T picks to Millsap. Carroll dishes to Horford. Plays it in without an inch of room around him. And the Hawks lead by seven. And the Cavaliers call time here. They're behind by seven. There's 117 left to play here in the fourth. Irving passes to LeBron. And the call will be against Jeff T. That's his first foul. 112 left in the game. And Shepard gets to LeBron. And the basket good. James has got 16 points here in the second half. That's their third straight makeoff in the sixth. Boy, the ball movement's been fantastic here in the last few possessions. Team dishes to Kirk. Horford with a screen on James. Kittle passes to Horford. Just five to shoot. Osgaard grabs the ball. Pretty good defense there. I mean, that's a shot that he can make, but he really challenged him. Love, no luck. Well, it's no wonder he's a bit cold. He's used to getting a lot more shots than he has today. And he commits the intentional foul. He doesn't hit the first, and that was the one they really wanted. He's got one more, though. Second of two is good. And it loses their lead to six. Timeout called the Cavaliers. They're down by six. 29 seconds left to play in the final quarter. Five seconds separating the shot and game clocks. And four! And now they trail by just four. They have that play ready to go. Well done on the inbound. And so they foul intentionally. First, and that puts them up by five. So it gets them both, and it's a six-point ball game. Good work at the line to stretch that lead out a little bit. Clark, no room for error. Kevin's got to be perfect from here on out. You're exactly right. And there's the call on James. That'll be his second foul of the game. Well, I love it. He gets there first, absorbs the contact. Nice play defensively. No flop there. He took that one right in the chest. And that hurts as he doesn't get the first one to fall. Trying to focus now on the second. So he comes up empty, missing both. Cavaliers have gone 7 of 11 from the floor in the final quarter so far. And some solid looks for them. That's good. What a terrific job to get the release perfect that time. I thought it might get blocked or deflected, but nice stroke. Even with giving up a lot of size in that matchup, still able to get off a nice long-range shot there. Carroll gets to Milsen. Puts up the baby hook. You know what? And the defense did a pretty good job of closing off the middle once he got inside the lane. And so it's the Hawks who come out on top. Well.